Hey, I'm Daniel Nelms. Welcome to this little video that we're putting together. I'm here with Josh Martin, and we're going to be talking Hello. about the, the, our new series, the, the Day in the Life of. And uh, Josh is actually the person who is there in the field recording all of these. So it's going to be fun to to kind of watch this and uh, get his take on, you know, uh, different things in the video. So, hey, what do you, what do you think about all this? Uh, this has been very exciting for me. This is something I've been wanting to do for many years, just kind of in the back of my mind, because I love being in these different countries and experiencing a whole day with them and just just, just being there and experiencing life in the third world. And that's what we're trying to show, what some of our preachers and some of our children and just your everyday church member, what they go through. Yeah. I mean, I remember when we were talking about this initially, um, the idea was, hey, you know, this is something that we can do um, sort of impromptu while we're already in another place, already in that country doing something else so that it, you, it wouldn't cost us all a whole lot of, of money to get it done. So um, I'm, I, I got to say, so far, I'm really impressed with with how it's going. I know that uh, last video that we that we got up there is really seems to be taken off. But, doing much better yes <laughs> yeah I, I looked at i think it's at fourteen thousand views or something this morning yeah that's impressive that's well i i guess for big youtubers that's not impressive but i think for us that's very it's been very exciting hard. for us that people are watching <laughs> it. i hope they'll watch the first two and the next one is hopefully from cambodia so there's All a right. big, one of these coming out so if you're watching please make sure you subscribe Give us right. a thumbs down or, or even a thumbs, you know, a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, you know, comment, you know, let us know how we're doing. Let us know if we're doing good. Let us know if we're doing bad. Uh, ask a question, whatever. Just comment. questions would be great. I, it would be. There's good. just so many neat things. And sometimes I get a text message, but nobody's putting anything on the site. Right. So on YouTube itself, that would be great. Comments. It would be great. All right, well, if you're ready, I'm going to go ahead and we'll get rolling. This boy, his name is Jose. So Juan Jose Castro. And he's six years old. Six years old. Yeah. We have an introduction in every single one. And it just kind of shows some of the shots that these are not shots that actually made it into the movie. These are extras but there are similar shots throughout. Very similar, you'll think you're seeing duplicates. You know, this boy, when I first went to his place like the day before and talked to his mom, uh, I was with Jason Dover and we were there for another missions project, the Tulipon, but this boy, she said, if you're looking for a poor boy, she said, uh, there's my boy, my boy is poor. <laughs> he said, it, you're not gonna find anyone poor, she said. He gets up and he's still not very awake right now. <laughs> I know but he wandered point. right next door to his neighbor because he picks up some bread from this lady next door. Video is kind of jerky here, but yeah. Every morning he washes himself. I know he's going to have an argument with his mom all through the morning about taking a bath. <laughs> Take a bath. Yeah, he's still waking up. See, he went and got his bread, and then he comes and he's waiting. His mom's making coffee. But well, I know with the cold showers or the cold uh, bucket of water in Honduras, taking yeah, he, bathing is not not, not, not a six year old drinking coffee. That doesn't oh, yeah, always happen cold. in America. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 situation normal in Honduras. Everybody he's got his tortillas. He's got his coffee. He's got some extra bread, and she's making him eggs. And these cats, the dog, they're they're looking for anything that he drops. Especially those eggs. They were really waiting for the eggs. And he's supposed to be eaten right here, and his mom's gone, and he's running to. <laughs> I need to pretend uh -huh. he's back in his chair. He's like, eh, 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 yeah, and he's he's a little bit, yeah. Here he's showing off. Uh, he's a regular boy. He really, 
This cat is hanging on for dear life. Poor cat. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to scare the chicken. I've had several people say that bothered them. <laughs> he's even throwing rocks at the dog. <laughs> he was a he was a tough little kid. <clears throat> that dog's like, what man? His school was he's talking to a kid down the street right now. I know he's arguing about um the shower. But their school was delayed, so they had a little bit more time. They had an extra hour or two. So, yeah, he does not want to take this shower. There he is. <laughs> and you can listen to him, like, laughing the whole time. And now he's just cold. <laughs> yeah. Trying to be good humored, but. I think mothers watching this can identify too what it's like dealing with a five, six year old. Yeah. This is medicine he takes morning and night, and I'm not entirely sure what it is, but hmm. always give it. His school is not very far from where he lives, but maybe hmm, four blocks. So bad. Yeah, there's some of the older kids walking by him right there. But there's two grades that meet at the same time. Um, they're all waiting for their teacher right now. And they all did a lot of games and playing where they got going. There she is. We had to get permission be able to film in there and she knew I was going to come but it was interesting for her <laughs> yeah that's got to throw you off a little bit like mm. yeah, it's not a regular day for her she writes something on the board and then she had them say like the day it is and the month it is and they all had to figure out how to write that yeah copy it down but there's actually two classrooms there There's a, there's these kids and then there's a line of kids in the back and sometimes you'll see them facing the other direction to a different board. So what you don't see is that she teaches the larger group here with the little kids and then she runs over to the other side and teaches these older kids, probably a couple years older. Mm. So they're learning two different things at the same time. But they went through everything. This little boy, <laughs> because I was there yeah, really, you can see he took the opportunity to just kind of show off and he thought he was big stuff. <laughs> you know, he was the center of attention. He thought he could get away with some things too. <laughs> but he's wearing out. He's like, apparently his mom gave him a little bit of something for a, like a mid-morning snack. And it was right before they all took sort of a recess. And if they had early lunches, but he didn't eat a lunch there. He just ate a little snack. Still full of that egg. He shared too, yeah. A little chips and Cheetos, but yeah, he shared. And then eventually it went into this their snack time. He's telling this little girl that this is a uh, like a meter deep. It's like really deep. If somebody falls in, <laughs> <laughs> she's not buying it. They did a lot of this playing here. Back and forth, back and forth. Chalk everywhere on all the pavements. And he's showing off again here. He's walking really slow instead of doing what he's supposed to do. He slapped a girl right there. I don't know if anybody sees that, but she's chasing him and he gets away with it. Gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> He actually left that classroom at one point, and I just waited for him to come back. Uh, I felt bad for his teacher. He, he just he left? He just walk, walked away? Like, yeah, yeah. He, he was trying to get me to go with him because he thought he could do anything because I was there. Oh, no, no, no. And I had to just keep waiting for him to act normal. So. Yeah. They had a lot of gangsters really played for quite a while and there's a neighbor girl who's dressed in green you see her running around 
she was the extra one. She's older. She's not going to school. And she kind of helped organize some of that. There's one other boy. And they go back in. This is a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> one of the helpers who cleaned that morning, it was her child, and he kept getting in trouble. Oh, no. They just bring their kids to school. You can see even their chalkboard has a hole in it. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah. He really has trouble. Jose has trouble with his, his O's and zeros. Finally, she's letting him go. He's one of the kids that eats at the Touch of Life feeding center. So now he's walking all the way down past his house. So there it is. That's one of our feeding centers. And his mother works there. And they had rice, they had beans, they had tortillas that day. Um, there's probably around a dozen kids, maybe even by the time I got there. They all kind of show up at different times in some of these feeding centers. So some kids trickle in and trickle out. But when he gets done, his mom has to stay there for all the kids. So he's just working on his homework. Yeah, it used to be they, they would get in and out around the same times, but years ago they changed it so each teacher decides what time yeah. the break is. And so it's kind of... This was the girl that passed him on the road on his way to school. And her timing is not the same as his. She came in eight to help with him. See a lot of little tiny clips here and there of just things that go on in the neighborhood and things that is just totally natural in that area. Interesting things with dogs and cats and stuff, I just stick it in. They're playing hide and seek. Here. <laughs> and if you notice back there, he really had trouble making those O's. He was making a straight line, a poor kid, and they, they were all trying to help him. His mom and the, this other boy's mom are the ones cleaning up now. Yeah, O's are hard, man. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You'll get it eventually. Throwing more rocks. It's kind of choppy, the view that I'm seeing here, but yeah, it's it hard is. to catch everything. I figure we can place it or something. Ah, she's sent him to fill his bottle of Coke. So he put a glass bottle, goes down, and he pays for it. I don't know about this kid. This boy is going to come up to him. And I had the camera running. I don't know if this is like a play fight or what this is, but <laughs> it was hilarious. Because they're pushing each other. I don't know what. <laughs> like some little six-year-old gang going on. Maybe here, maybe that was his uh, sister from school. <laughs> he, he meets back up with some of the kids that he goes to school with a little bit later. But his mom has given him another snack here. And I think it was a special day because there was an American there and he has to play along. And it's like she gave him an extra. He got Coke and he wanted me to drink a glass of it. And that's his bathroom right there. So for people that have working water this boy does not he got to flush it himself and he took three bucket loads of water across his yard to get that to work <laughs> it just did not want to go down that day <laughs> yeah this is mom all been there right here i've got a piece of music i use now and at the end of the day where it's just mom so if you're watching the video you just you can kind of see how he, he does cause a lot of trouble, but his mom really loves him, and she loves talking to him. And they have no father. His, his father is gone. I don't know the whole story on that. But here he was wanting to just show himself as a man, you could tell. And she let him. She let him take a machete, and then he wanted her to watch. And not <laughs> having a father, this was him like being the father. He's like chopping wood for her. Mm. It was it was special. Huh. He 
He's like, I don't have a dad, but I'm doing this for my mom. And she takes him on quite a walk, clear across the village and down to the road on the other side. He disappeared at one point and did not go with her, and he took off down through these houses and I lost him. But I stayed with him as long as I could. So she's trying to run the energy out of this little boy, so he'll go to bed. And not an easy gone. task, I'm sure. Yeah. He's like on the other side of the road down there and they keep losing the ball clear down on the road and they'll send a runner down. They lost the ball way more than what you see here. <laughs> over, over and over they pick that thing. And they just go drink out of the well, straight out of the deal there. This little kid's barefoot and he's running on sheet metal. <laughs> and everything. Look at that. Uh, tetanus! <laughs> yeah. Mainly they're playing soccer. Now they're leaving, but they played soccer and then like some kind of tag ball. But now he goes at it again. He, they go back up to uh, neighbor kids that live near him up by the school. His mom's talking to a friend and they just play, play, play. This taller girl really tries to come up with games. Um, but mostly it was just a lot of soccer. Again, football. I don't think I ever have that much energy. Yeah, he's just game time after game time. He picks up this right here and he's like, my mango. And he's, it's so sour. You see the look on his face when he's <laughs> eating it. This is a road runner. He was chasing this thing and then it started chasing him. Oh. It was trying to peck him, and he was scared to <laughs> <laughs> He got water going for his mom to do dishes, and he uh, watered the plants. Then he played hide-and-seek again with the neighbor girl. I think there was a couple of kids that played. Yeah, there was three of them. He's realizing he has to take another bath. <laughs> <laughs> He's arguing with her about that. More tortillas, more beans, more cheese. It's a lot more sloppy, so he's definitely going to need a bath. You can see those cats waiting patiently. Please, he's definitely please. going after that more than he did his breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's his medicine. Medicine time. He just can't like, do I, it. I can't do it. I can't do it. You, you do it. No. Oh, man. Mommy. She takes him right in, dries him off. Gets him ready for bed. <laughs> Actually, for this one here, he's pretending to go to sleep for me because he doesn't want to go to bed yet. He was really mm -hmm. terrible yeah, about that. <laughs> and she promised him he could. Because I got this camera with a light in my face. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wanted to see me leave and everything. And um, mm -hmm. that little boy, he did not have a ball, is one of the things that he really wanted. I, I realized he didn't have one. And so a couple of days later, when we were filming, some i think i had to come back and do something there um we were i was able to give him a ball and that was a big deal um but they are really poor they i think they tried to make it look that day like they had more like he had snacks and he he got to do the touch of life meal and his mom made sure he ate again um i, don't, I know they don't get to do that all the time yeah it, it's hard to communicate that sometimes um i want you to be completely normal don't do anything different for me <laughs> Yeah, well, of course, you know, subconsciously, you know, especially with a kid, you know, it's it hard. To do it. you know. Yeah. Well, I think that was that was good. It was a it was a good first episode, and mm -hmm. I have many more of these to do. Yes, we have quite a few to it.
So um, what was your takeaway? Because that wasn't the first one you filmed, was it? It was not the first, but it was probably number three. I mean, it was very, very close to the beginning. He really liked having me there, but he, I did, he did get himself into a lot of trouble that day showing off for me. And he told everyone that we went by that I was his father, like, like (laughs) he would tell. And so they were joking with him and all day. uh, There's some, like when he gets that Coke bottle, he's laughing out loud. Um, It's because of the jokes that they're playing along with him when they're saying, yeah, right. That's your dad, you know, (laughs) maybe he'll grow up and be a comedian or something. (laughs) You don't know. You don't know what's happening with this kid. But his mom works at the Touch of Life Center, and he eats there. A lot of other kids in it's Suyapa. This uh, village is Suyapa. You know it very well. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of been there a few times. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people that go on our visionary trips uh, will know Suyapa very well. Yeah. They go there. They've handed out food. They know. Uh, been there for the messages, and they've handed out clothes and all kinds of things. They know how poor these families are. Yeah, it's so, a, it's an awesome little little place. Uh, it's a great little community. A lot of good people. Really nice. Yeah, very first time I ever went to Honduras, I got to go up on that mountain and film some scenes down below. It's my very first time there. I remember Suyapa very well. It's been a lot of time. I think we take a lot of the groups there. To oh yeah, those. yeah. That's one of the go to places. I it's remember when we uh, when we started out there. Actually, um, when we went out there the first time, we just had a uh, we decided to have like an impromptu church service right there in the middle of the little community at a crossroads. We went out and just invited everybody to come, and we sang songs and preached, and now the rest is history. It's, yeah, sometimes it's. That's all it is. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. They have a church right there and the feeding center is attached to it. It was on the inside, but now it's on the outside and they have benches. Yeah. Yeah. I know we pulled those benches from another place after we um, uh, switched out the uh, tables and chairs that we had. And the main Livingston visionaries trip special is it also there's several scenes filmed there yeah luchador was filmed luchador in that door was filmed right there, there yeah yeah and I'm you are inside also yeah <laughs> when uh franklin is mistranslating Ernest, so oh yeah there's, there's a lot of scenes in there that i think they visit there twice maybe in yeah, the special something. yeah i think so maybe it's actually been a while since i've seen that Mm-hmm. yeah it was good stuff though that was fun to make that yeah very fun very hard three weeks very hard that was a hard trip and i remember being i think we both were sick yeah and, we were sick. yeah it was exhausted <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was a rough trip exhausting long days <laughs> and then that's we, also yeah right that yeah yeah and then i got stuck because i didn't have my vaccine card <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We should talk about that sometime in the visionary trip. We could tell a lot of stories. I'd be, oh, that'd take forever. It would. It would be a long time. All the stuff that happened. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe people would enjoy seeing that. If you would enjoy seeing something like that, leave a comment and let us know. <laughs> and then we'll know yeah. if you want to see it or not. If you want to see it, we'll do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have still not done a behind the scenes for season two of Ernest and I've got all the material, but I have not had the time to do that. Yeah. So there's a lot of stories untold. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do those things. Well, this was our first try. This is sort of like, you know, completely unscripted and mm-hmm. let us know what you think and we'll do some more of these. And if you think we should do something else, comment, let us know. There's a lot more stories about the day, too. So if you have any questions, I can definitely write back. There's a lot of things that happen in these days that won't come to mind or it just slips by so quickly. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things I could tell you about. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.